Good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the beautiful Monterey, Mexico. I'm really wanting to test the 0 to 60 time of my truck and obviously we don't want to do that in the States. So I mean I made the nine hour trip for all y'all down south of the border to get down to Mexico. Because that's where you got to go to do this stuff. You just you got to go to Mexico and Monterey, Monterey seemed cool. So here we are. So it's a 2011 F-150 Limited, the 6.2 liter V8. Now on paper, you think it would be mildly fast because 411 horsepower, 434 pound foot of torque. But honestly, I'm not expecting much because tires, lift, and 120 something thousand miles. So we're gonna be optimistic, but really, I'm shooting for like the eight seconds range. If it starts with an eight, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pleasantly surprised. Before the lift and tires, I know I could do it in the six second range. But she's a little bit bigger now. She's a big girl. She's a little, she's a little thick. I don't know what it is, guys, about us and armadillos, but there's an armadillo right there. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Armadillos are fast. I mean, who knew? I certainly didn't. Hopefully, though, not quite as fast as my truck's going to be. We're going to keep our fingers crossed on that. So please send a prayer down in the comments below. So we're going to do this. We're going to head west towards Tijuana, maybe. But I mean. Look at that. That is just amazing. Texas, I mean, God bless Texas. Just God bless Texas. Now we only have one warning light on the truck to start and it's just tire pressure. So really, I think, I mean, I think we're good. It's just cause they're cold maybe. I don't know, it's fine. So I'm gonna use this app on my phone to try to kind of gauge what the time is gonna be like. No idea how accurate it's gonna be, but if it's quicker than I think, then it's accurate. If it's slower, it's not. So we're just gonna roll with that. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a shot. And 60. Oh, 8.7, 8.7 seconds. Okay, 8.7. So we're on par with where we need to be. It's not bad. I'm impressed. I'm not impressed, but I will stand it. It's okay. So 8.7 was good. It's good. It's not bad. I can't really complain about 8.7. I feel like it's got more in it. There's more left in the tank. I know the truck can go faster than 8.7. So I'm gonna give it a little more boost, if you will, off the line. 8.5. I think we can do 8.5. I really do, boys. We can do it. Come on. It, it's got to be 8.5, right? It's It's got to be 8.5. All right. Here we go. Take number two, three, but it's two. So the M right there means manual mode, and when you do that, it doesn't shift on its own. Four. Nine, nine, that's, it got slower. It's supposed to get faster. Maybe, maybe one more try. Maybe one more try and this will be the one for 8.5. We'll see. So I don't know if it's right, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical, but 6.5 seconds, if you see that, zero to 60 and 6.5, which is like a, a two second increase pretty much. So I, I don't know how much I really trust it, but you know, at the beginning of the video, we said if it's faster, we're going with it. And it was definitely faster. So it's a GPS timer. I mean, it can't be wrong. It can't be wrong. It's GPS, I think. So now, I know my truck is when working up an appetite and I'm hungry, so I think it's time for Sonic. Hey, it's Kinsley. Hi. 
Hi. Everyone, meet Kinsley. This is my beautiful girlfriend, who's also an A1 camera guy. Woman, I'm sorry. Woo! Uh huh. So we're gonna go get Sonic. What do you think? Mozzarella sticks? Yes. Mozzarella sticks. Let's go. So I know I said we were gonna be at Sonic, and this obviously isn't Sonic, but I had to ask the first hand witnesses was this time real? So, was it real? What do you think? That is unequivocally yes. And I think that's a very pregnant cow. So now we are going to Sonic for real. I'm sorry I kind of snaked you a little bit right there, but hey, it's all gonna be worth it. It was six and a half seconds, so Sonic, for real this time. Mozzarella sticks. Thank you for choosing Sonic. This is Piper, how can I help you? Can I get one large jumbo popcorn chicken and then a medium mozzarella stick and two medium sweet teas? Guys, I cannot tell you how long I've been looking forward to this. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Sonic, you, you just know what's up. You know what's up. Good job. Welcome to a new day, everybody, and a very windy day, and we've got a lot to do today. So as I mentioned earlier, deer season is starting like six days from now. So we gotta head out to the ranch and get some things ready for that. Not excited at all. Now y'all have seen the ranch, I wanna say a lot, a little bit on Instagram if you've kept up with the uh, both Covert Garage Instagram and Super Crew 6.2. A lot of the pictures on there are from the ranch and also the dirt road where I filmed a lot of videos for Instagram is the dirt road to the ranch which is awesome because you know I don't want to say I, I speed on the dirt road but we keep it we keep it at 55 right at 55 but to get to that dirt road we got to go about 50 miles that way so let's go dang it's a whole eight tank of gas to get here God, I gotta look, look at this 10 miles of the gallon. We're just killing it. We're killing it. So, a long dirt road. I mean, the only thing left to do, traction control. And let's go. It was 55, 55, only 55. That's all we do. Just look at the plume of smoke in the rear view mirror. That's like the best view ever, is just seeing that smoke right behind you. You can't beat it. So deer season, of course, means the cold. So we made a little container for a propane tank because I don't really want to be cold sitting up in this stand. So we're going to put this thing right up there somewhere. What do you think guys? I, I think it'll work. It's going to do just fine. But we're super hungry so we're going to head to town to go get something to eat and get fat and happy and then come back and probably shoot some things. So we'll see you then. Well per usual boys, I ate way too much and I am, I'm stuffed. But now it's time to go shoot some stuff, make sure the gun's ready for opening day and then I think it's about time to head out. Right there. That, that's where we want to be. Right there. Now I'm no Chris Kyle, but I don't I don't claim to be a bad shooter, but I think I can hold my own, but right there. Yeah, that's kind of a weird way to put that, isn't it? I don't know. This is going to work. So we got the target set up way down there, about 100 yards. We're sitting right up here. I hope I can at least hit it. And don't judge. Ear Pro is good. It doesn't make you less of a man for wearing ear protection, all right? Glad we got that out of the way. Well, we've put five down range so far, but it was way right, so we're getting it kind of dialed in. We just gotta go see kind of how we're looking. Honestly, I don't know if it was too good, but we'll find out. So the first two right here, and you can see they were way right, 
this was the second one sorry third one and fourth one so we adjusted a little too left that one was almost good but you gotta go back I said I wasn't the best shot in the world but it's the wind it's the wind So we've got it, I think, good enough for hunting. So just ignore every shot except for that one. It's not quite in the bullseye, but it's pretty dang close. For those of you wondering, I'm shooting a 270 uh, Remington, which does kick a lot. I don't really like. I really want a 308, but I prefer truck parts over guns. So, but for those of you who are not interested in shooting stuff and you just want to get back to car stuff. Here we go. I need to check the tire pressure on my truck's tires because I'm really tired of looking at the TPMS sensor light. So we're gonna go check the tire pressure, get that all situated, and then head back to school, unfortunately. There's the culprit. I tried to run them at 35, just about. And we're at, I couldn't see that. We're like 27, so that's about it. So I filled all the tires up to 40 PSI, try to get a little bit better fuel economy. I'm hoping, come on, go away, go away. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. No more tire, tire light. We'll just wait for the rest of the Christmas tree to light up. That is gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you all like those zero to 60 times and some gun stuff. Let me know if you wanna see more of that because trust me, I am more than happy to. But on that note, it is time to end. Have a great week and weekend, and I will catch you all in the next video.